Welcome troops, it's me, the Tactical Brit, and today I wanted to talk about some brand new features in Battlefield 1 surrounding RSP and community building. Now there's been a fresh update to the game in the spring patch that has fundamentally changed how communities can band together, as well as having your own server and what exactly you can do with it. So let's dive on in. The RSP or server system has fundamentally changed in the last patch, giving people the option to do more with their servers and manage their servers slightly better as well. So now you can actually rent a server and make it completely private, password it off to the rest of the world to allow your friends or your community members to partake in private events without the interruption of others, which is fantastic for both people trying to organize events as well as those who are perhaps creating cinematics. Alongside this, your server can now be admined by multiple people, so it's no longer simply yourself looking after the server and making sure you don't get those one or two sour grapes in a good patch of players. You can now actually make it so that you can have multiple different admins that you can prescribe the rights to, and they will have the ability to control, kick, and ban players as they see necessary in order to make sure that the server is run at a healthy level and looked after whilst you're away. So this is in conjunction with all the stuff that you guys have had before, including the ability to change maps, change modes, in order to mess around with the spawning of things, what weapons are banned and what weapons are available. So you can start running things like pistol-only servers that are completely barred off to everybody except for your community. Or you could do a pistol-only public server which is looked after by your friends whilst you're out and about. So that way everybody can have a variety of different servers doing lots of different things. This all works hand-in-hand -hand with the brand new platoon system. Platoons allows you guys and your friends and communities to band together and represent a platoon. You can have up to 100 members presently in a platoon and within this you can have your own emblem and your own tag available. Now there's some cool features to platoons that I think are worth mentioning. To start off with, if you have a platoon, you are a general, and there are multiple different ranks that you can assign to people. There is a colonel who has the ability to do all the admin things as the general does, except for being the general, obviously. And then there is the lieutenant who can accept or reject applications if you've decided to make your a platoon a application-only platoon. And then there are the privates who represent the platoons as well. Now, the platoons are really cool, because if an entire platoon joins a server, your squad name will no longer be Apples or Butter, it will be your platoon name. And if you capture a flag with your platoon and you contribute the most, you will have your platoon flag flown up with the flag. Alongside this, there are 5 new dog tags, 19 new ribbons, and 4 different level 10 weapon variants to get involved in in the new update, which is pretty badass too. As always guys, it's been me the Tactical Brit, I hope you found this information useful, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you again soon in another video.